Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Dundee. Today, the video you've been waiting for. Today, I challenge YouTube legend Steve Marsh to a round Scotland journey. We're going to be visiting Aberdeen, Inverness, Fort William, Glasgow and Edinburgh. One person will go clockwise, the other person will go anti-clockwise and the first person to get back to Dundee isn't the winner because this is a points-based challenge. The person who goes around the cheapest will get five points. The person who gets here first will get three points. At every point I mentioned is a challenge and that challenge is you must get something to prove you were there. I could go into a shop and buy a fridge magnet but that cost goes towards my cost challenge. So the cheaper the better and if I can get it free of charge even better still. We really, we really need to think outside the box on this one. Also, Steve's partner, Alicia, has got a couple of tricks up her sleeve. She's got, I think, two challenges for us. We don't know what they are, but they're worth two points each. Anyway, I'm supposed to be meeting them down at HMS um, Discovery, so let's get moving. I forgot to mention, Alicia is the official adjudicator, the judge, the referee on this. She's the one who will be tossing the coin to see who goes anti-clockwise, who goes clockwise. She's the official timekeeper. She's the official checker of prices and things. Actually, there's one thing I'm quite worried about on this um, challenge. I'll tell you what it is later, but I really, really, really don't want it to happen. It must be avoided at all costs. Right, we have the HMS Discovery ahead, and there's no sign of them. I wonder if that's an omen. Hey, wouldn't it be a laugh if I got the day wrong? That'd be hilarious. Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure it's today. And here he is. How you doing, mate? The man, the legend. How are you? How are you? <laughs> well, has Alicia given up already? <laughs> So there's Steve there doing his intro. We've discovered that the judge, Alicia, didn't bring a coin to flip. Hmm. Okay, we're not off to a good start, are we? So you're psyched up and ready for this? Kind of, but I'll be honest, I'm a bit nervous. What are you nervous about? What I could possibly know. go wrong? Last night it was fine. I was like, this, this will be absolutely fine. It'll just go like clockwork. But today, I don't know, I'm feeling it a bit. When I said that to you as well, I felt as if this was really out of my comfort zone a bit. Aye, it's, um, you know, we've both done challenges before, but this is a bit different, and we still don't really know what's happening, do we? That's the problem. That's it's the, problem. the big unexpected. I think we need to know what direction we're heading, and we'll feel a bit more secure. We should do that now. I think we should, yeah. But we need a coin to flip, and uh, of course, Alicia doesn't have a coin. <laughs> Me neither. Have you found a coin yet? No, I forgot the coin. She's <laughs> all. Hammy out up a bit, isn't she? Who would not want to win that? What, the trophy? I I, 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 as soon as I said that, I thought I shouldn't have said that. Right, there is one thing I need to get off my chest. Full of puns, this guy. What could possibly I go wrong? Absolutely love Apart it. Apart from a train not turning up, a bus being delayed, getting lost, having no accommodation, being stranded, being in torrential rain. What could go wrong? This is going to be so easy. This guy kills me. <laughs> Brilliant. But this is just a practice. We need to do a practice to make sure the whistle's working, otherwise the whole thing fails. Oh, shit. Yeah, that works. That woke up half of Dundee, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're taking that too far now. <laughs> so a referee has got a stopwatch, a whistle. But do you have a coin? Yeah, I forgot the coin. I'm sorry. One job today, and honestly. <laughs> yeah, we just, we'll just say. Right, so we don't have a coin, but look, we do have this. And we'll call the birds heads, maybe? Yeah, the bird heads, yeah. Okay. And the fjord tails. Oh, here we go. What are you going to call? I'll go for fjords. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I'm going for fjords. And is this to go clockwise or anti-clockwise? Um, we haven't worked this out, have we? <laughs> not very well, no. <laughs> We're not very good at this. We haven't planned it very well, but... Right, so you're going to go fjords, I'm going birds. Yeah, and whatever ends up goes clockwise. 
Okay, whoever yeah. wins goes caught. Yeah, yeah, so come on, birds. You're uh, so my fjord or birds? I've forgotten already. <laughs> Your fjords. Oh, God. Okay, fjords. <laughs> This is uh, this will be covered in the editing. Don't worry. I don't even know what I'm doing. Well, I'm right, you fjords. Flip it. This is your big fjords. Moment. Can I just throw it up? You throw it up. Make it land here. Okay. What if I make it land there? It gets wet. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh. And nearly did. Oh, and it's birds. You're going clockwise. So what does that mean? That means you're going clockwise. Oh, we're going to your start. That means you are going clockwise. I'm going clockwise, you go. So you're going to Edinburgh first and I have to go to Aberdeen. So as a result of our coinless coin toss, I'm heading north to Aberdeen and Steve's heading south to Edinburgh. That's your extra quest. Okay. Mm -hmm. plus it, plus it, plus it. Are they different? They are different. Oh, right. One of them is the same, two of them are different, but they're similar. That made total sense to me. Hey, I like the YouTube uh, sticker on the back as well, very classy. <laughs> Okay. Right, Scott, I won the coin toss, so you can choose first. Okay, I'll take the gold one. Thanks very much. <laughs> and we open these now or later on? 30 minutes in the journey. 30 minutes, right, okay. That's halfway yeah. to Aberdeen for me, isn't it? And okay. Maybe we'll self-destruct after an hour. Right, okay, thank you for that warning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, I have extra treat for you. Ooh. Dundee cake. Oh, yes. Oh, amazing. No oh, chance of going hungry then, is there? <laughs> Excellent, thank you, thank you. £6.50 for Dundee cake, but it's very, very good Dundee cake. Oh, the referee's looking quite serious. Where do I press? <laughs> Here, yeah. okay. I think so. Oh, yeah. No, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> you can't get the staff anymore, can you, Steve? <laughs> the job is too complicated. You've had weeks to plan this. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was loud. Right. Whoa. <laughs> right, let's move. That's the time. Quite right, we're officially going. See, that, that's real. That's metal. solid silver. That is solid, genuine silver, isn't yeah, it? Quality. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Made in China. <laughs> <laughs> Should we can edit that bit out right now. <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> Could possibly go wrong, yeah? We've got our first tickets, and would you believe our trains, Scott's heading to Aberdeen, I'm heading to Edinburgh, would you believe our trains leave one minute apart from Dundee? Oh well, right. here goes nothing, mate. Yeah, good luck, good luck. Good luck to you. See you in Dundee tomorrow. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Oh, right on cue. 10, 12, right, face of luck. Alright, cheers man. See you, bye bye. See you later, bye bye. has planned for us. I might need it. Jeez, oh. Connect the dots following the numbers.
We are now approaching Montrose. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. Part 2 of the challenge. Find any movie or TV series location on your way and record it. Oh boy, that's a hard one. Creative photography. This is the third challenge. Take a picture describing the theme rhythm. Yeah, I can do that one. Movie or TV series location. Oh boy. Okay, we made it to Aberdeen. Train's on time. I've got about 35 minutes, so I'm going to head over there to WH Smith and Costa Coffee, try and get something, get a receipt, and that will be my Aberdeen challenge done. Um, in regards to Alicia's little bag of tricks, I got my frog done by joining the dots. Um, a movie location had me stumped and I thought, of course, but that's later in the video. And the third thing was rhythm. I took a photograph of me listening to Dr. Dre, but I thought, nah, she's an arty farty type person. I better think of something better than that. Fort William is the place. Right, let's get in and get my receipt for my challenge here in Aberdeen. Well, guys, I'm really cheeky. I went into Costa Coffee because I needed something to get me up to cruising altitude. Asked for a receipt and I got one, but it doesn't mention Aberdeen. So, plan B, I went into Barhead Travel and I got a guy's business card. That's the Aberdeen challenge complete. Scotland in one day. Um, He's travelling in that direction, I'm travelling this direction. That is really cool. So Here we are in Inverness. Sometimes the people you meet on the trains make the journey. And I was speaking to two lovely ladies from Georgia. Her daughter had been working in Dubai, spent three years in China and was now living in Aberdeen. And the mother was living in a house up in the Appalachians, a beautiful part of the world. Lovely people. That's why there wasn't much footage on that section because I was too busy. Yuck, 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 yuck. Anyway, I'm here in Inverness now. I need to get my challenge done because I have 45 minutes. I think I'm going to have to use the easy option. I was really racking my brain trying to think of a place where I could get something for free. And the only place that I could think of would be a receipt from uh, my favorite cafe down at the bus station. But having not even eaten my uh, chicken and ham sandwich, which I bought in Aberdeen, because I was too busy yak 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 to people, um, the last thing I wanted to do was to um, buy more food. So I decided just to buy a local newspaper, the Inverness Courier. But that two pounds will go towards the overall cost of this trip. Hopefully that will not be what makes me lose the whole challenge. Right, we're heading down to the bus station now. We have about 
30 minutes to wait. This is Inverness bus station. I think I've got time now to have my sandwiches. Although I have just noticed a Polish consulate general here in Inverness. That's cool. Thinking of you, Alicia. Imagine meeting you here. <laughs> I was going to ask, what's, what are you doing here? But I know why you're here. You're here to leave. <laughs> I am indeed, and I've got about five minutes. Whoa. Oh, well. <laughs> I, actually, I actually thought we were going to be like ships passing in the night or maybe City Link coaches passing in the night, but here you go. How's, How's it been, going? It's been oh. <laughs> it's opening my mind. <laughs> no, it's been actually very good. The train from Aberdeen to Inverness met a couple of people from Georgia. Fascinating people. That really made the journey. Uh, this has been a real dampener, literally. Yeah. How have you been? How long have you been here? Um, I've been here a while, about 40 minutes. Um, I'm uh, here for two hours. <laughs> but, plenty of time to get the challenges done. Well, exactly, and I've got a real good answer for uh, Alicia's um, challenge. Have you? Yeah, but I'm going to have to get very wet to do it, but she'll be impressed. I just bent the rules slightly, but in, the, in Morrison's there, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, yeah, the, the trip up through Glen Cove, of course, is beautiful. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll see much of it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I think I'll be trying to get some sleep on this uh, bus. So that's us, we were able to meet up, which was a nice little twist there, of wasn't it? Best of luck again. Best of luck, sir. See you in Dundee. See you in Dundee. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was crazy, quite bizarre. I was wondering whether I'd actually bump into him or not, but I actually thought we'd probably pass each other somewhere between Fort William and uh, Inverness. 
as it turned out, he's catching the same bus I caught from Inverness to Fort William, going to Inverness. How cool. Okay, uh, Alicia. She has given me a challenge and I have decided I will, I will do the challenge and I'll succeed. So, creative photography, take a picture describing the theme rhythm. I accept your challenge, girl. Here we go. And it's raining as well, the things I do for you. Right, where am I going to do this? I know exactly where I'm going to do it. Thank goodness I'm only here for two hours. Right, over there. Take a picture describing the theme rhythm. Yeah, I can do this. Despite the rain, I can do this. I was actually here just a few months ago and uh, I was shooting a video on Fort William and I discovered this little bit down here and that's why I know where to go now. Uh, it's looking like low tide, but we'll give it a try anyway. Ah, summertime in Scotland, there's nothing like it. Right, this spot will, I think, have to do. Okay, one Alicia challenge photo done. Uh, I'll show you it at the end of the video when she's checking the results because she's the judge and she decides whether it's deep and meaningful enough. I think it'll do the job. Right, I now have the Fort William challenge. I need to prove I've been here, preferably finding something that's free of charge. And I know exactly what I need to look for. I have one hour and ten minutes, and I must not miss this bus to Glasgow. I don't fancy spending the night here in Fort William. With all due respect to the nice people of Fort William, not tonight. Right, Fort William challenge, here we go. Jeez, oh, a wet evening in Fort William, nothing beats it. Right, up here there must be something I'm looking for. It has to be up here. Something. That was torrential rain and I had to stop filming because I was getting soaked and the camera was getting soaked. But it was mission accomplished and I'll show you what I got free of charge when we get back to the bus stop. Oh, that was wet and ringing. I'm actually soaked through to the skin, literally. So there had to be one somewhere and sure enough, a Chinese restaurant with a takeaway menu. I've been in Fort William. Challenge accepted and won. Right, where's my bus to Glasgow? I was going to do this segment in Fort William, but you saw the weather. It was a total washout. It wasn't going to happen. So I waited until I got home. There were a number of challenges to be overcome on this video. One which wasn't included was my personal safety and in particular, my online safety. I'm using the public Wi-Fi on trains, buses, railway stations, coach stations, cafes, and even internationally recognized hamburger chains. That's where Surfshark comes to the rescue, who incidentally are the sponsors of today's video. It's a dangerous world out there, with hacking, cybercrime, and stolen identities. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network, which encrypts all of your online data, preventing personal information from being stolen. My favorite feature of Surfshark is the fact it can access content which usually isn't available in your area. Surfshark can open up a completely new world of viewing opportunities. All you have to do is change your virtual location on your laptop or on your phone, and suddenly you can view content from over 100 countries worldwide. For example, if I try to access German TV station RTL outside of Germany, I get this error message. This is a live example of how quickly you can access the world through Surfshark. Click on your browser extension and select Surfshark. I'll scroll down to Germany, Berlin. I then enter the URL for TV station RTL. Select the live RTL tab and, for example, move down to the breakfast show Punkt 7. My internet connection keeps me in suspense for a few moments, a few moments more, 
and suddenly I can watch a TV show which is off limits outside of Germany. Es ist Mittwoch, der 16. August. Hier ist Punkt 7 mit Annette Möller. It's that easy. And it works in reverse as well. So when you're overseas, you can access UK content which normally is out of bounds. Also worth mentioning is the fact that one account can cover unlimited devices, including gaming PCs, televisions, phones, laptops and tablets. By using my access code below, you'll get an exclusive deal. You'll get three months extra free and a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's absolutely no risk to try it out. To get started, just click the link in the description below. Thanks again Surfshark for sponsoring me on this epic challenge. Will I win? Will I win that coveted trophy? You'll find out. I was saying to Steve, what am I going to find in Glasgow between 10 and 11 o'clock at night where I can get something free of charge to prove I was in Glasgow? About the only things open I think are off licenses and fish and chip shops. I'll think about it. Hmm. That there is the Caledonian sleeper. That was my plan B. But I decided to go by coach because A, the coach was an hour earlier, B, the coach is one and a half hours quicker, and C, the coach is cheaper. It takes all the boxes, it's a no-brainer. Ten twenty p.m. and we're in Glasgow. How easy it would be just to jump on a train and be in my own bed in about twenty minutes. But no, this challenge isn't over yet. I now have to get down to Renfield Street to complete one of Alicia's challenges. I'll tell you what it is when we get down there. When the challenge said I had to photograph somewhere in Scotland where a film or a TV program had been uh, filmed, I went into panic mode because I couldn't think of anything. And then I remembered Indiana Jones. I need a coffee and I know exactly where to go at this time of night in the centre of Glasgow, unfortunately. I went to McDonald's thinking that the receipt would be proof that I'm here in Glasgow. Of course the printer was broken wasn't it? I did get a quarter pounder with cheese and a coffee but I didn't get a receipt and I thought what am I going to do here because everything's shut. Um, and then I went to the Volker Hotel which adjoins uh, Glasgow Central and I gave them my story about having worked in corporate travel, IP, um, IHG was one of our preferred suppliers, blah blah blah, can you help me out? So I got a, a map and a, a guide to Glasgow, so that should do for that challenge. So that is Glasgow ticked off the list. Right, I'm heading up to the bus station for no particular reason, that I've got nowhere else to go. But there is another McDonald's up there and I might have another coffee and then I'll worry about what I'm going to do then. See, if I leave here too early, I'm going to arrive into Edinburgh really early and there's nowhere to go. There is a McDonald's there, I think they close at 4am, 
but you can only have so much McDonald's, you know, so much McDonald's coffee. So I'm kind of pacing myself a bit. Um, what time is it now? Oh, 20 minutes to midnight. I think I'll uh, stretch out another coffee at McDonald's until about half 12, one o'clock if I can, and then I'll think about going to Edinburgh. But like I said, when I get there, the only thing that's open is another McDonald's. Hmm. Okay, this is my cunning plan. I'm catching the 0100 bus from here, Glasgow Buchanan bus station, to Edinburgh. That should arrive into Edinburgh at about 2.30. I've got an hour to try and find proof that I was in Edinburgh at that time of the morning. But I've got a cunning plan, I think I know what I'm going to do. At half three, the Ember bus, the electric coach service leaves. That will get into Dundee at around about five. And that's significant because that's when McDonald's opens in Reform Street and I might have a, a, an Egg McMuffin or something. Uh, and I can also declare myself the winner, assuming that uh, Steve hasn't beaten me to it. So that's the cunning plan of action. So I'm just wasting time until one o'clock, then I'll be on that bus to Edinburgh. Two thirty AM, Princess Street, Edinburgh. Right, I've got an hour to find proof that I'm actually here, so I can tick that uh, challenge off, and then we have to catch the Ember bus to Dundee. Right, I do have a plan, a cunning plan. I just hope I can find this place. Oh well, that didn't go according to plan. Ibis Styles is my favourite brand in the Accor group and I thought I'd go in there and see if I could get a, a map of Edinburgh. No, the front door's locked. Okay, plan B. Plan B is down at Waverley Station, which isn't too far away. It's weird walking around Edinburgh at 2.30 in the morning, it really is. Probably the finest hotel in Edinburgh and the front door's locked. It seems to be a security thing here in Edinburgh now that uh, doors are locked until 6 a.m. Hmm, okay. I really don't want to have to fail here in Edinburgh. There must be something I can find which will prove I've been here. Motel 1, that's locked. Uh, hmm. I thought actually about nicking one of these uh, fringe posters, but they're not individual posters. It's an entire set of posters and I can't nick them. Right, there is a solution to this, I just have to think about this. <sighs> okay, I think we might be in luck. This dingy back alley, I found this brochure or this leaflet from the Fringe Festival. This is Edinburgh, this might have to do. Right, let's find where this bus stop is. I'm on my way to Dundee. The last bus, Edinburgh to Dundee. Wow, what a journey this has been. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. And I'm back in Dundee, a very windy, rather cold Dundee. 19 hours after we left, 10 o'clock this morning, it's now 5 a.m. Boy, oh boy, am I wrecked. <laughs> that was a really, really tough challenge. All right, HMS Discovery is still there. I'll go over and do the official finish thing. And here we are. Oh boy, it's cold this morning here. 
Um, it is officially three minutes past five. You probably can't see that. Three minutes past five in the morning. And I'm back again. And I've just heard from uh, Steve and he's on his way down from Aberdeen. So he's not that far behind me. Over the road there, in one of those rooms, is Alicia. But I don't think we'll wake her up yet. <laughs> right, I am going to, what am I going to do? I think I'll go and find somewhere warm. That's a good idea. According to the arrivals board here, there's a train due at 6.46 from Aberdeen. That's the first one of the day, so that must be the one that Steve's on. I saw a message on WhatsApp and he has just boarded his train, so he's not that far behind me actually, but he's about an hour and a half behind me. So uh, I'll hang around here. It's nice and warm here in the station. Then I think we'll both go and get a coffee somewhere. So I was just thinking, I might have won the time trial, but that doesn't mean I've won the whole challenge because the time trial was only worth three points. The, uh, the cost trial was actually worth five. And if Steve did it cheaper than I did, then he's won. Oh no! Here. And there he is, the man, <laughs> the legend. You've probably been here for hours, haven't you? <laughs> An hour and a half. Well done. You're looking very fresh, to be fair. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, here she is, the referee. Hey, how are you? Hello. How are you, how are you guys? Should Surviving. I stop it now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can stop it now. <laughs> so that passed the scrutiny. That's fine. So far, so yeah. good. Now. All okay. good. Uh, I had to go into a hotel and beg for these things about Glasgow because at midnight there's not a lot of places open apart from off licenses and things but there's a map of Glasgow which you wouldn't get in Edinburgh or anywhere else so okay, that proves I've been to Glasgow. Fair enough. And um, so that's all are you ready for this one? The Edinburgh one? Yes. A flyer for the Fringe Festival. Oh, all right. Right, right, a complete and comprehensive list of what I did. <laughs> Hundred and five pounds and forty pence. Okay, so Scott won the money challenge. You get what? One hundred twenty-two fifty-nine. Yeah. Well, what was it? Four pounds fifty. Yeah. That was my fridge magnet, but I have to include that. Yeah. Where did you buy the fridge magnet? Fort William. All oh, right. Okay. It's so expensive, but well, it's that, a nice souvenir. That, that, that's actually a very good. Yeah. yeah, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Kept the price label on as well. <laughs> <laughs> For proof. Okay, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. And now you want to do your mad kind of um, yeah. challenge. It got a bit wet, so it got soaked, absolutely soaked. Fort William rain, that proves you were in Fort William. Yeah. Does that look like the same one, do you think? I'm not cheating. I'm quite happy with it's that. very similar. It's pretty close. It's, I mean, that's a little bit different. But Can yeah. I see it? <laughs> Does that I knew that was coming, though. Right, find a movie or TV series location on your way and record it. Uh, you hold on to that. Uh -huh. You tell me what film that was in. And I'm going to find my bit of paper because I can never remember the title of the movie. Where is it? Is it That's Glasgow? That's in Glasgow. Yeah. yeah. I had to write down a bit of paper here. That is where they filmed the parade scene in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. No way. Yes way. And that's the only reason why I watched that film, just to see that bit of Glasgow. <laughs> cool. That is really Never seen cool. it. Yeah, you got to see it. Yeah, so I got the Glasgow Times in Glasgow. And I actually got a receipt for that, just in case. Because you might be able to buy that elsewhere. I'm not really sure. I've you might be able to buy that in Paisley. I've never seen it before. There we go, Glasgow bus, 90 pence. Ooh. The Lost Guest House. At least said about that, the better. <laughs> um, Marks and Spencer's a wee ATM statement in Inverness. Uh -huh. And a fridge magnet. <coughs> Four fifty. So I got all my points for that. Mm -hmm. And then my challenge. Which is looking a lot better than yours. Uh, that's because yours, yours. That's because yours wasn't wet. So yeah, um, looking for my rubber duck was on a kitchen cleaning product there we go and my filming location oh no that's on video so i can't show you that just now but i did get the points for that for the and my contrast photo was glasgow queen street 
with the old Glasgow buildings. All the new. So do I get the points? Did the challenge yes. ask for a video or a photo? <gasps> it says recorded. Oh, that's all right then. Okay. Yeah. So. Ooh, that's a close one. There we go. Can get away with um, it. So I think now we need to do the points, don't mm, we? I think so. There we go. So, Steve got 11 points. Scott, 19. The winner. Well the done, winner sir. Well the done. inaugural channel challenge. And look at that trophy. That's a trophy. Okay. And you present that to Scott. Scott, well done. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Speech. Well deserved. It is solid silver as well. Don't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> eBay. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was wonderful. Thank you. Mascara. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that was the inaugural YouTube channel challenge won by me. Surprise, surprise. I wasn't expecting it. I thought it was going to be a lot closer than it really was. If you enjoyed that video, I'm going to put a link below for Steve's video. Have a look at that as well. I'm sure his video is going to be better than mine because after all, he's got more subscribers than me. So he must be doing something right. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for coming along with us on this challenge. It was fun, but boy, was it hard work. I'm going to sleep for a week now. I'll see you next time.